right, so first off, you got to introduce yourself. Give me your first and last name and where you're from. Okay, I am Lorian Matthews, and I am currently living in Orlando, Florida, but originally London, England. <laughs> you're from London, England. All right, how long have you been? In, uh, when did you come to the United States? Uh, well, this time around, I've done a lot of moving. Um, so this time around, um, 2013, so... Wow, almost, wow, it's approaching 10 years soon. It's a bit crazy how quickly time has flown by. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, like, you know, you came, uh, so you you grew up in London, England? No, I am also Jamaican. <laughs> and I lived here in the United States before, so I'm just, I. that's why I call myself a global citizen, really. I'm from everywhere and nowhere at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, talk about, like, what kind of work did you do before rework? Like, what kind of work did you do? What, what was your profession? What did you want to be when you grew up? Like, walk me through that. Well, initially, when I, you know, entered into the world of education, law, I have a law degree. Um, I studied law in England, and my intention was to become a lawyer. Graduated during the recession 2008, 2009, when the economy had gone bad, and I transitioned into teaching. So, um, so I was a teacher for 10 years, um, six years in England, and then four years here in um, the United States. So yeah, so teaching, and I was pretty much convinced at one point that teaching would have been it, but then teaching wasn't enough after a while for me. Yes. And I... Yeah. Yeah, you go. So, and you, what, what, so what'd you, what'd you do? It wasn't enough. Um, and I was determined to leave, but I just wasn't sure what I was going to be leaving into. I just knew, okay, I need to go, <laughs> but go where? I don't know. And um, randomly, something told me, I was just going through my um, junk mail in my inbox, and I saw something about a tech training course for, um, you know, people of color, you know, trying to get more people of color into the tech industry, and that really resonated with me. So I was reading it, I'm like, oh, this is interesting. So I sent an email off. And uh, just to ask information. And before you know it, that, that's what got the ball rolling. <laughs> uh, that's got the ball rolling. And so like prior to, prior to going through this training, you had no prior tech sales experience? No tech sales experience at all. I had never thought sales. I'd never thought tech. I'd never thought sales. As a matter of fact, I had avoided everything sales related because I didn't think it was something I could do. Yeah. And so like you went through this, this program, like what adjustments, if, if, if any, like, what did you learn? What were your takeaways? Like, like, how did it help you? Did it help you? You know, it's funny because I'd say, and I actually spoke to a few people about the program and I'd say besides the actual tech training itself, you know, how to do discoveries, um, you know, basic prospecting, um, the interview skills. I think for me personally, as a career changer, what Rework equipped me with is one, the confidence to try, <laughs> the confidence to just put myself out there and, you know, show people in the tech space that I can do it, that I have something of worth to contribute. And you guys also enabled me to articulate how what I have can contribute, um, how I can be um, a um, good salesperson, how my classroom experience makes me the best salesperson that, you know, they could hire. You gave me those words. Without rework, I don't think I'd have been able to do that on my own. Man, so what do you do now? What's your, what yes. do you do now? I am a business development rep for Sprout Social. Yes, I'm a Sprout. And I love it. So obviously I am on the growth, like growth enterprise, growth teams, a bit of a mix. So we do a bit of enterprise. We also do a bit of, um, you know, a bit of mid market as well. So, yeah. So I essentially am trying to um, prospect into current customers and encourage them to, whether it's upgrade, add extra seats. And sometimes not even that. Sometimes it's even connecting them with a customer service um, CSM so that they're able to get the best out of what they currently have. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome. And, like, you know, when you think about, like, your, like, work life before versus work life now, if you compare the two, like, 
Like, which do you like better? <laughs> you know, it's so funny because um, also I'm, I'm in grad school as well. <laughs> yes. So when I started rework, I was crazy. I was finishing up school, you know, as a teacher, I was starting grad school and I was doing rework at the weekend. So it was it was madness, but I wanted it that much. So I was willing to put in all that extra work. But thankfully, being in tech, I believe actually gives me more time. One, obviously, for me personally, I need that time for school in the evenings. But generally, I think once my workday is done, it's up to me to decide how I want to use my my day. Um, teaching, unfortunately, tends to be very <laughs> intense and you don't really get as much time for yourself as you'd like so tech is giving me my time back which is great yeah and so what would you say to someone who hates their job is jobless right now that doesn't know about rework what would you say to that person i'd say give it i mean do rework give it a shot give it a try um even if you didn't think that you could do sales because i didn't think i could do sales but rework definitely equipped me and showed me that sales is nothing more than just a conversation. You're speaking to people just like we're having a conversation right here. And um, rework helps me to do that. So give it a shot, give it a try, put your all into it like I did. I mean, I, I don't suggest doing 10 things at the same time whilst doing it, but <laughs> unless you want to, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> do it. Rework's great. I, nice, nice, rework's nice. awesome. Yes. And now to finish strong, we got to finish strong. So we have this mantra, rework, get this work. Get this work is the mantra. Just we know that like, if you're a tech company, you're looking to be more diverse and inclusive. It's going to require work. If you're a candidate, and you're switching professions and you're trying to make a change, it's going to require work. And so like, if you could give us a commercial and give us maybe like a, a 15 second, 20 second clip, it could be more, it could be less, but I want you to end it with get this work. Like, what, what would that sound like? Got to end with get this work. All right, then. So I'm pretty much just telling them join rework, get this work. But if you well, it could be anything. So it could be like it could be like, man, I gotta. I want to tell you something. Like you know, it could be like, man, you know, rework. You know, if you yeah. if you want to change your circumstances, if you if you're looking to make a career yes. change, like okay, join, okay. get this work. Like whatever you want to say, but I got to end with get this work. Yes. All right then. All right then. If you are like me and you are in a career that you thought was great, but you know you needed a change, you wanted something different, you wanted a new challenge, you wanted to earn more, you wanted to be able to be the master of your own destiny, your own career destiny, then I'd say come to Rework, see what we have going on here. It takes a lot of work, but you can come here and get this work, because I did. <laughs> oh, I love it, love it, love it.